Yes, yes, yes. It's Raphael Dawkins Combat Radio. And if you have not subscribed already, please kindly do so. Okay, without delay, let's get straight into it. Okay, so in this article by Boxing News, dated the 10th of July, 2019, we have the words of Anthony Yard's trainer, Tonde Ajayi. And uh, there are some interesting things to say. Okay, first of all, he says, Kovalev is getting knocked out. So it's, it's already been compared to Rocky IV, but the much discussed fight between Anthony Yard and uh, Sergey Kovalev, Sergey, Sergey, how do you pronounce that? Sergey, I'm going to say Sergey, Sergey Kovalev isn't completely signed off just yet. Anthony Yard's trainer, Tonde Ajaya, told the boxing news it's 99.9% .9 done. Damn, keep on getting these notifications on my phone anyway. Yeah, 99%. 99.9% .9 done. We know the date. The 24th of August. The date is out there. Despite recent rumors, Ajaye insists that a touted fight between Kovalev and Canelo Alvarez won't stand in their way. There's not enough time for the build-up, he said. There's not enough time for the media. Even if it did, even if he did take it, we're only going to get better because of our system. Bob Aaron gave an interview a few days ago and he says Yard v Kovalev is done. Me personally, I'm not saying it yet, but we're excited. This time around, I don't want to put a jinx on it. The first time the fight was mentioned, I was very vocal. Uncharacteristically, I started speaking about another fighter and I've never done that. I don't usually put the opponent's face on any of my social media. I think I did it because everyone thought we weren't going to take the fight. I don't even think Kovalev and his team thought we were going to take the fight. Yard himself has made well-documented claims that the Russian team's team fears the clash. Similarly, Ajaye believes this man will stop the WBO heavyweight world champion. Kovalev looks to have the advantage of home soil if the fight is finalized. They're not worried about fighting on foreign soil though, says trainer Ajayi. I was in the corner of Derek Chisora versus Vitali Klitschko. I was in the corner when Derek fought for the European title. I've been in big events. I've always known Anthony was going to be where he is now. So I prepared him for this. In his eighth fight, he fought on the undercard of Canelo Alvarez versus Liam Smith in one of the biggest stadiums in the world. Some sports arena in Russia isn't going to be bigger than the AT&T Stadium in Dallas, Texas. I knew what I was doing when Frank got us on the bill. It was all part of the journey. Kovalev's last outing was a unanimous decision win over Colombia's Alvarez, Idea Alvarez, Eldia Alvarez, who had stopped Kovalev just six months prior. Yad and Ajaya were ringside for the defeat. Everything is time in Ajaya, firing off his well-worn motto. Frank Warren asked me about his about this fight in 2017 when we won the WBO European. And I said, no way, it's too soon. Then last year, Frank said, listen, son. I'm telling you, he's ready. Having all the respect I do for Frank, I still needed to see. We went all the way to Atlantic City for Kovalev versus Alvarez. I was going on my own, but Anthony said he wanted to come with me. He got stuffed. And Frank said, I told you so. But I said, don't worry, Frank. The opportunity will come again. Yad and Jaya have many critics. Some argue this opportunity has come too soon. To those who say Yard's rise has been more meteor, me, 
meteoric than meritocracy. His coach has a message. Ajaya hails his charge, patience, and claims Yard's best asset. Natural power aside, is his ability to soak up information and learn. He's a strong-minded individual. The great thing about Anthony is he listens. He's not as vocal as me. He takes information on better than I've ever seen. We're not talking about a washed up fight here. Kovalev was beating Alvarez handily and then lost concentration and got stopped. Let's get that right. In the rematch, he boxed his ears off. I want the full credit when we stop him. Kovalev is getting knocked out. Go watch the first ever interview I did on BT Sport. I said I can't wait for the whole UK, the whole world, to see this kid because he's going to be something. Okay, and those were the words of Yard's trainer, Ajayi. Okay, what do I make of this? Is it too soon? Is it too soon for for Yard to face Kovalev? Is Kovalev still is Kovalev still on the top of his game? That is the question. I think it's going to be a hell of a challenge going into Kovalev's backyard and stripping him, ripping the belt from his waist. It's going to be no easy task. No easy task at all. For me, I still have Kovalev as the favorite. I think Yard needs more tuning at the European level. You climb a ladder one rung at a time. Unless you're going down the ladder, then you can slip down the whole thing. One step at a time would be my motto, philosophy, credo. But hey, this is boxing. Stranger things have happened. <laughs> We've seen stranger things happen. So I'm not writing off Yard's potential to win. But let's be real here. Kovalev is the champ. And to strip him of his belt his own backyard is going to take one hell one hell of a feat it's going to be one hell of a feat but I wish you all good luck if the fight gets made I say it's 99% yeah I'll watch it good luck to the lad let's see how it goes down it's Raphael Dawkins it's the combat radio it's the like it's the subscribe it's the comment it's the share and it's that hitting that bell icon. And I'm out.